All right, so rain is gone. We're back to normal conditions. When I say normal, top of today is like 12 degrees, but that's pretty good for orange this time of year. Hopefully getting 15 tomorrow. <laughs> but we're below the 20 now. Ooh. Anyway, today, just a mow vid because the lawn has dried out and the lawn is long after putting out that liquid fertilizer last week. So let's get into a mowing video. Yo, mate, what Hello. up? Welcome to another launch Welcome. <laughs> All right, so today, gonna use the Toro Greens Master 1000, which is set to 15 mil, so. Oh, struggle. We'll get it out and do our thing. So this thing is an absolute beast. Um, I love using this mower. Um, especially for the green out the front because it's better at your lower height of cuts. Um, but I have dropped this lawn down to 15 mil with this mower. I've done a couple of um, cuts with this lawn recently, just haven't filmed it. Um, but the reason I'm going lower is because it's got 11 blade reel in there. So it's got more reels on the blade. Is it 11? I think it's 11. Um, it does tend to, when the grass is a little bit longer, say 20, 25 mil, it does tend to leave a little bit of a wavy pattern across the lawn. So the more blades you have, the lower your hider cut needs to be. Um, had a few emails about guys asking about that recently. So, say if you are cutting from like 15 to 30 and above, I'd only get a six blade reel. If you're going any lower, you can start getting more blades on your reel. Now, generally, I like to have more blades because I like to have my hider cuts between 10 to 15 mil at the back here. Um, and obviously at the front on the green, that's gonna be at four mil, even lower, when I get a different blade for the bottom, a tournament blade. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why, well that's how you choose between how many blades you want on it. More um, blades doesn't always mean it's going to be better unless you're trying to take it low. So, as I said, I had it at 20 mil, and it was just creating a wavy pattern across the lawn, wasn't cutting properly. Um, so what I had to do is cut in two to three different directions to fix that or lower the height of cut. So let's cut in two different directions today. We're going to go, um, probably just, what am I saying, checkerboard. <laughs> we're going to go checkerboard today. So we're going to make like a soccer field sort of a look on the lawn. We're going to do double wide stripes as well. So I'd love to see what it looks like with this mower because I haven't done any double wide stripes with the Toro yet. So it'll be interesting. It'll be good. Um, so let's do that now. Double cut because we've been cutting so long. Could get away with the triple, especially with this mower because it's so quick. Um, but we'll just do a double today. Um, and the, the one downside about this mower is it won't get against the edges of the lawn um, because it does stick out so far. You see that sticks out and the reel is all the way, can you see it? On the inside there. So you've got quite a big gap like there. So that's why we use the landscape blade afterwards around the edges. Or you could use a whippersnapper or whatever you want to use, but the landscape blade is good because it doesn't give that scalpy scalp. So we are all done. It took way longer than I thought. Um, 
Good old landscape blade, that thing is a beast. Um, so awesome for getting those edges. Whipped through it and those edges, man, look crisp. Love that blade edger, man. Like having one that's not battery powered when you've had a battery powered one for so long, you can tell the difference. Like battery powered one was still good, it's just this one is crispy. So crispy. Man, the lawn's looking good. It's looking ridiculous. Um, we're full blown into autumn now, as you can see, the leaves on this tree are skadoodled. Um, so, you know, the rye's holding up well. Um, all the other turf grasses around here, like the Kaikuyu, as you can tell, is starting to go a little bit yellow. See their lawn's starting to just go off, because we had a slight frost yesterday and today as well, so. Um, I'll show you guys the seed in the moment as well, but, mate, front yard's looking schmick, backyard is looking schmick, it's all just looking tasty, so tasty, so. Yeah, that landscape blade and that blade edger are just awesome. Um, just rip through it all and just, they just make your lawn stand out that little bit more, which is what you want. Okay, so here's the green over here. We've got some growth, we've got some really good growth. So today is day, it's like day 10, 11? About day 10 or 11, I can't remember the exact day, but it's going really well. Ryegrass everywhere, like it's gonna be so thick with ryegrass, tell you what. Especially this front section here, I went a little bit heavy on the old oversow, which is all right. Um, it's got a little bit of a dirty browny color. That's generally what it looks like when it first starts coming up. Um, and the closer you get, you can see there is seed everywhere. A bit hard to tell from further back. Um, but there's even some bent up now. So bent everywhere on this green. So we're gonna have awesome results. And I'll tell you what, that heat mat is seriously doing the job. Um, I took it off this morning just to give it some sunlight today, a bit more sunlight, but I'll put it back on at night. I might leave it on all day tomorrow just to really get that bent to start growing because that's going to be the main attraction. I'm not too worried if we get some frost damage on the rye, um, but we should be okay because this rye over here survives really well through winter. Man, look at that. It looks so, looks so nice. <laughs> looks schmick. Anyway, this is that here. A couple of close-ups. You can really tell the difference between the rye and the bent as well. Just a completely different turf um, grass or different turf grass plant. Um, a lot finer leaf on the bent. Um, and it's going to creep as well into some bare areas. Probably won't creep much through winter, but that's why it's called creeping bent grass. Because it creeps. But yeah, I'm keen, man. Hopefully, I'm hoping within the next, let's hope, at least 14 days, we can start mowing this and get it into a putting surface. So I'll tell you what, it's really nice to have this grass like this thick again after going through the drought, having most of it die off. Like the lawn is ridiculously thick. We've got it back at 15 mil, which is one of my favorite heights. 12 mil is probably my favorite favorite, but 15 is what I'm gonna keep it at over winter. I was gonna keep it 18, but stayed using the Toro and it doesn't tend to like a little bit higher, so we brought it down a bit. Just loving it, it looks crisp. Due for a granular first soon. Um, probably should do it tomorrow because we're getting colder and colder. Um, the lawn just looks hungry, so I'm gonna give it a granular first. Anyway, I'll wrap the video up there, but thanks guys so much for watching. Keep an eye out for Saturday's video. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. We'll find out. Um, but really enjoyed that mow. I love mowing, guys. Stripes didn't turn up as clear as I would have liked them to, just because, you know, that's this time of year. But anyway, see you later. All right, just had a box of hats just turn up. So hats are back in stock, got all the colors there. Um, I've only got limited stock of the green, the pink, um, and the white as well. So they'll probably go pretty quick again. I'll order some more in again, though, once we go. I just want to see how much people want of those colors. Um, but yeah, new bucket hats popped in. They look pretty classy, actually. They're really nice. Pretty happy with how they turned out. No, I know it's not really the time of year to be wearing a bucket hat, but that's back to front, isn't it? Nope. <laughs> but anyway, they're in. So they're on the website now, so there'll be a link in the comments below. So it's